Chapter 21, Part C. Question number 6. Which one of the following statement is true? Number 1. In order to appraise real property, one needs a minimum of a real estate salesperson's license. That's false. You don't need a real estate license. Number 2. The complexity of real estate as a product requires the involvement of an expert appraiser. That's true. This basically means real estate is unique. Real estate is hetero, heterogeneity. Basically means each property is unique and different. So we need to know the difference between homogeneous and hetero. So the real estate is hetero and the homogeneous means same. So, so, so basically mean each property is unique. That's why an expert advice of an appraiser is required. Third, real estate can be classified as a homogeneous commodity. That's false. Real estate is a hetero. Hetero means different. Number four, due to the low turnover of the real estate, it is easy to collect information. That's false. Due to low turnout, it is difficult to collect information. Not easy. It says easy, that's why it's false. It should be difficult. So the answer number is 2. And then we go to the question number uh, 9. There are many reasons why property might sell for a price which is different from its current appraised value. Which of the following could be a reason? This one I told you before. So there may be s several reasons. Maybe a large size, maybe location, maybe the condition of the ad adjacent properties. So many reasons. But in this uh, uh, in this question, so I'm going to read the answers. Number one, the property is in a state of long-term disrepair. The property is located beside a fertilizer plant. Third, the prop uh, the appraisal was done by the cost method. All of the above. So this is third. Appraisal was done by the cost method basically means you need to know the formula. Cost method means the value of the land plus improvement. Improvement means plus building, plus the value of the building, minus depreciation to date. So value of the land plus <coughs> building minus depreciation is equal to cost method. And this one we use for institutional properties, just like uh, pulp mill, churches. So the answer is number third. And then we go to the uh, question number 10. A potential purchaser is aware of the asking price for a particular house listed for sale. Which one of the following statement is normally two? Number one, the probable the probable sale price will be equal to or above the floor price. So now we need to know the formula. So floor price basically means what the seller is seller minimum is willing to accept. So that's true. So the probable sale price will be equal to or above the vendor's value to owner. So either the price what the buyer is willing to pay is either the equal or above what the seller is willing to sell so that's also true the ceiling price will be equal to or below the asking price so ceiling means what the maximum buyer is willing to pay so it will be equal or below the asking price if the seller is asking 550 either the buyer is going to pay 550 or he's going to pay 530 520 wherever he negotiate so that's also true so it's all of the above statements are true. So number four. So bottom line, you need to know to remember, ceiling price mean what the buyer is maximum willing to pay, and the floor price means so what the seller is minimum willing to accept. And then we go to question number eleven. Two identical houses located next to one another in the same neighborhood sell within one week of each other. Miss Brown sells her for 112,000 while Mr. Fisher is only able to sell for 100,000. Which of the following could account for the difference in selling price? So bottom line is Miss Brown sell for 112 and same kind of home Mr. Fisher sell for 100,000. Why? 
Number one, the real estate agent representing Mr. Brown spent an extraordinary amount of money on advertising. So that's true. Sometimes some realtors are very good in marketing and they can sell for more price. In Mrs. Brown's house, he, he sells because, because of extraordinary marketing. Number two, Ms. Fisher supplied a vendor take back mortgage at 9% while the current market worth 12 that's wrong so here we can talk about miss miss brown miss brown could have sold rather than mr fisher third miss brown was promoted to a new position in edmonton and her expertise was required immediately so if miss brown is going there so it means she has to sell quickly if, if she has to sell quickly it means her, her house is gonna sell for less rather than for more so that's why it's false so the correct answer is number one so, yeah so so for this one I'll just elaborate basically means why why the house why the same houses sell for different price number one reason may be the sale is happening between related parties you're selling to your brother-in-law you're selling to your father-in-law you're selling to your friend number two this it may be happening under dur duress it means somebody is getting a divorce somebody has to move quickly or or sometime you're getting a vendor take back mortgage you you're getting a special rate the, the market rate is seven percent you're getting a five percent so in this situation the seller is going to get more and you you have to you have to pay more so basically three or four reasons F financing arrangement means vendor take back condition of sale just like under duress the sale between the related parties or maybe the good salesperson.